Welcome to the Mindset Mile podcast. I'm your host, Aisha Zaza. For the next 30 days, we're going to learn to build better habits in health, fitness, relationships, business, and overall well being by making small mindset shifts that make a big difference. Contrary to how it may seem, the path to any success is achieved by taking small, consistent action over time. Someday is not a day of the week, so the time to level up is now because you were made for greatness. It'll be a marathon, not a sprint. And together, we'll take it one step, one mile, one day at a time. Welcome to the Mindset Mile. You ready? Hello, friends. How are you doing today? I hope that wherever you are, you're enjoying some fresh air. But maybe you're not. Maybe it's raining or snowing where you are and you only have access to a treadmill. Either way, I'm so glad you're still here. Because today we're going to talk about something really important. Practicing gratitude. Practicing gratitude has become more of a conversation these days, and I've got to say, I love it. Often, we are reminded of the fragility of life and to not take things for granted. But what does that look like? And have you made any shifts in your day-to-day to live as though this is the actual reality? Inherently, I don't think any of us feel like we're ungrateful. But the difference between being actively grateful versus being numbly aware of our privileges and luxuries is wildly different. Practicing gratitude will change your life because it will change your perspective and your perspective is your reality. If you are generally reactive, anxious, or negative, your perspective is going to remain as such. Do you often feel like the victim or wonder why you can't catch a break? Do you get angry on the road when someone cuts you off? Do you feel slighted at work like nobody listens to your ideas? Take an honest inventory of these things that you feel easily bothered by. Practicing gratitude may seem like too easy of a solution to help solve any of those things, but like a really respected friend once asked me that I apply everything to now, she said, why do you want it to be harder? Damn, that was a gut check on so many levels. I feel like I can apply that to so many things I overcomplicate. Sometimes it feels like we must struggle and suffer for something to work, but what if the answers are simple? They usually are, which makes them easy to overlook or not do. So what does practicing gratitude look like? Well, that looks a little different for everybody, but for me, it looks like physically writing three things down I am grateful for every morning. You could also do this at night, or better yet, do both. But I like starting my day with this because it forges a positive outlook on my day. I'm not saying that because you write down what you're grateful for, that nothing is ever going to go wrong or that your day is going to be sunshine and rainbows, but how you react to tribulations throughout your day will change positively over time because gratitude starts to become subconscious when it's practiced daily. Nothing you write down is wrong or too obvious, like your family, your health, your job, your house. Because yeah, if you have all those things, you're absolutely killing it and should be really freaking grateful. But you may find that as you practice this for a while, your mind will start to find much smaller things, things that are much easier to take for granted. For instance, I'm grateful for getting to make coffee every morning and for the way that it smells, for the sun that comes through the kitchen and living room in the morning because it makes me feel really happy, and for my slippers because they're cozy and warm and I love putting them on first thing when I get out of bed. These are things I used to just do mindlessly because they were my routine. And they don't feel extraordinary, but when I really look at how those things make me feel, I realize how big the small things are. Or often I'll write down something I'm grateful for about my husband or a friend or something I really admire about a person that makes my life better. Like how much I appreciate their patience or willingness to talk through ideas and problems. I mean, just think about that right now. Who is the first person that comes to your mind and what's something that you love about them? Doesn't even just thinking about it give you the slightest warm feeling? That is gratitude. And it's free. It's free to feel grateful. Why are we not feeling our gas tanks every day with it? There is nothing like taking a micro inventory of the things that make your life just a little bit more convenient or fulfilling that will make you realize how much you have to be grateful for. And when you start to realize just how much abundance is in your life, The little things that used to bother or upset you, they suddenly start to feel like they're moot. 
Do you see how this starts to work? This is how your perspective and your reality start to change. When I first started running, I felt like it was impossible to think about anything else besides how much longer it would be before I was finished. But after running consistently for a while, it started to become a place where I felt really inspired. I would think about my goals, or I would envision big life events or plans in the near future that I was excited about. I finally started to click into that runner's high and I became addicted. I would go out with my music, run by the beach, and as I absorbed my reality, I felt so grateful that I could almost cry. I would think about how grateful I was for my legs and that I could go out and run five or 10 miles just because I felt like it and because I could. I felt grateful for my lungs and how amazing they are to allow me to run uphill and for long distances. I felt grateful for the ocean and the mountains and that that's the scenery I got to look at every time I went out and that I had built my life around being able to make that a dream come true because it literally was. I was grateful for my music and I thought about the long hours artists put into creating music for someone like me to listen to on my run. Seriously, I know this sounds ridiculous, but this is the overwhelming amount of gratitude I feel when I run. And the most comfort I found was that gratitude does not negate struggle. Rather, it brings a level of calm to the process. It helped me see so clearly that it's okay to lean into discomfort and to be grateful for it rather than resist it. It feels easy to be grateful when things are going well, but the challenge is to be grateful when things feel less than comfortable. With this practice, you'll begin to see that things happen for you instead of to you. I know it's hard to realize this in the process, but even just creating awareness of this is half the battle. I'm not saying it'll magically feel great and that you'll all of a sudden approach discomfort with enthusiasm, but finding a way to embrace the journey is incredibly empowering and will make you realize that there isn't anything you can't handle. This is the slightest shift in perspective, but it is so powerful. And at the end of the day, gratitude and resistance both cost energy. How will you spend yours? If you're loving this podcast, it would mean the world to me if you rated, subscribed, and shared it with a friend. Be sure to tag me on your walks or runs at Aisha Zaza and hashtag Mindset Mile. That's all we have for today, my friends. Remember, the big things don't happen overnight. It's the small things done consistently that make the big things possible. You are capable and you are worthy. Make it a great day.